Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and how to measure the temperature while running with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or something without Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This is my first demo code with Wi-Fi and I just get the internal temperature and I also measure the surface temperature with a small infrared thermometer and we have some small example what we can expect while running with Wi-Fi. So this example just starts a Wi-Fi station and just scan all the networks that are in the reach of the small ESP32 device. And I'm only printing out the first three characters of the Wi-Fi SSID. So this is the standard ESP32 example. And we reading out the internal temperature sensor and we get the temperature in Fahrenheit and just calculate the Celsius temperature and print both of them. So we have both examples and can do this for a long time. And, and here we see the output of three ESP32s running with a Wi-Fi example code. And as you see, the internal temperature sensor are writing out very different values. And I th don't think that's are correct because even Espressif don't trust the internal temperature sensor readings. And I measured for all the devices nearly the same surface temperature and I don't don't think that the whole internal temperature is there's so much difference between 15 degrees centigrade and also 18 degrees centigrade. So this is just 30 degrees in difference that it's not the real temperature values that you can have inside the chip. So unfortunately, we cannot trust the internal temperature sensor. But even after two hours of running, I get just an external surface temperature of about 39 degrees Celsius or centigrade. That's about 102 degrees Fahrenheit. And on the other two boards, they are running just the internal temperature sensor for every second. This is just for comparison. So let us start measuring the surface temperature. And first I measure the ambient temperature, it's about 26 degrees. And now the first device with an open shield, it's about 36 degrees. And the next one, we have about seven or 36. And this one is 39. And this one without Wi-Fi, we have 28. And also 28 on the other without Wi-Fi. Next measurement. So you see the difference. So this one I have to do again. So for comparison, I measure my coffee mug and my coffee is about 56, 57 degrees. And another comparison I try some frozen fruits and as you see we have minus four degrees and measure this strawberry it's about minus five degrees or this berry so coffee again so just a for fun <laughs> comparison so we can trust our small infrared temperature measurement device. 36 degrees, 34, 39, but it depends how we, where we measure the device. So you see some millimeters of difference makes some temperature difference. This one again, 29 degrees, this one again, 27, this one again, so. Yes, I think we can trust the range of the 
even if there's one, two or four degrees in variation. So this is my device and and here we see the plotting with the serial plotter from Arduino out of the internal temperature sensor of the ESP32. And we see that the temperature is starting about 42 degrees Celsius and it rise very sharp on the start, but then it reaches a point where there's no temperature rising anymore. And even after many, many minutes, we have an surface temperature of about 39 degrees Celsius. Next we have the small Bluetooth BLE simple device example from Espressive. Just with some add-ons I add the temperature readings with the internal temperature sensor and this is plotted out so that we can graph this with the serial plotter. And this is the plotting of the temperature sensor while running with BLE. And as you see, the temperature rise is not so sharp at the beginning, but it saturates in some point and reaches about 52 degrees reading with the internal temperature sensor. And on the surface, I've measured a temperature from about 36 degrees centigrade or Celsius. And this is about 96 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's it for today. I hope you find this interesting, learn something or even enjoy the video. If so, please give me a thumbs up or if I done some mistakes or you miss something, please write it in the comments. I wish you a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.